Hello, good people. Most welcome to the page here, your most authoritative interaction, current affairs sports program here on GBC News. This is where we get those who matter to tell us what is up their sleeves today. We're doing a massive countdown to the biggest sprint event in the country, the GNPC Ghana's fastest human search. The 2021 edition will be climaxed this weekend at the Paju Sports Stadium. And today I've been joined by a senior external affairs officer of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, Mr. Atokobi, to, to help us run through. Let's see what we should be expecting, what the reason we should come to the Padu Sports Stadium on Saturday to really have a feel of it. What is up the sleeves of GNPC? We also have a flashback of what has happened so far. Remember the COVID era, so the, the event was suspended for a while and bounced back after uh, the government eased restrictions for sports. And so uh, a lot of things have gone on, but we'll be giving you a flashback of everything that has happened and then we'll project into what we should be expecting on Saturday because I uh, hear for Team GMPC they'll be coming in their numbers to really grace this occasion. What is the package at stake? Everything we need to know, we will get to know. So thank you very much for staying with us now. Atu, good to have you. Thank you for having I, me. I know you are bouncing, you are, you are eager to just uh, see who really uh, will be crowned and the, the real fastest king and queen. Uh, in, in this country. Uh, so far, uh, what will you say about the excitement so far? Yeah, it's been very great. And as we speak now, we have 195 athletes who have qualified to and made the time to feature in the finals mm. of this year's GMPC Ghana's Fastest Human. And as you rightly said, last year was to have been the ultimate for the Olympic Games. Yes. But due to the COVID pandem pandemic, of course, uh, it had to be suspended mm. because the Olympic Games itself, which is the ultimate for this whole tournament or uh, project, uh, had been suspended. So this year, the Olympic Games is coming on, and the GMPC Ghana's fastest human is also taking off. And Saturday, like you rightly said, we are going to have the final of the finals at the Paju Sports Stadium uh, at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Ghana. University uh, Science and Technology. Of Science okay. and Technology. So, viewers, let, let me give you a flashback so that you can do justice to uh, the discussion very well by understanding why we're doing this. Uh, the biggest finals will be at the Padio Stadium, as we've said. But for the 2021 edition, because of COVID, we're going to Cape Coast to bring you a flashback of how the event all started at the Cape Coast meet. So at the Cape Coast meet, uh, what you see on our screen is the legal meet. We will quickly bring you the Cape Coast meet where we saw the, the athletes starting it and then building the momentum gradually before we assembled the creme de la creme. On our screen is uh, Kate Ajiman, uh, the Accra edition. Uh, my director will give us the Cape Coast edition where we saw the athletes starting to build up their points and also start winning. And so uh, we, we finish with this one and then we quickly go to the Cape Coast one. Let's have a feel of what really transpired at the Cape Coast event because for the first time we saw the Cape Coast event, including the 200 meter event and other accessories as well. So let's go back to Cape Coast and then bring you the first 2021 edition, the first edition that took place at Cape Coast. When we come back, we'll go to the Legon one and whatever transpired there, then we'll come and conclude here. So straight to Cape Coast, a flashback. Well, so while we wait for uh, my director to really play play me the the Cape Coast event, um, Atto, you've touched about the on the the number of athletes that are really coming. Yes. I know for GMPC, your tagline, which you continue to guard jealously, is to empower dreams. Yes, empowering dreams. Uh, from the period you got in touch with uh, the event, okay. Uh, so that's the Cape Coast one. Let's go and then have a feel of it. When we come back, we'll talk of the senior women's 100 meters had the eight finest sprinters going neck to neck. The sprinters were Gipti Oku in lane one, Marian Fatawa, Janet Mensa, Grace Obo, Kate Ajiman, Beatrice Brache, Josephine Avemeka, and Miriam Donfe. 
Grades above from the University of Ghana finished with a time of 12.30 seconds. <laughs> In the men's 100 meters final, Safu and Saf from the GMPC Ghana's fastest human athletics club beat a quality field with a time of 10.83 seconds. <laughs> the brain behind the competition is a former national sprinter, Mr. Rex Broby. This is the first track meet since the COVID era last year. I mean, I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy that the athletes were able to run the 200 meters after the 100 meters uh, as part of training because, uh, you know, if you're a sprinter, you have to be able to run the 100 and the 200. So that's one new thing that we're teaching them uh, going forward. The winners shared their experience. I think this year is Olympic standard. Um, what I would tell Ghanaians is um, they should expect more good from me. First position, as Safwans are always bring uh, to the nation as a local athlete. They should expect me to, uh, to a higher level of uh, this competition, maybe uh, for the near future or maybe Olympics, maybe I'll be in a part of the, uh, the Olympics game. The next stop for the GMPC Ghana's fastest human train is Accra at the University of Ghana Ligon on April 10. So on April 10, the, the Accra edition took place at Ligon. We're going to bring you a flashback. First, how the ladies' finals went. Kate Ajiman, uh, imagine the overall winner uh, in the ladies' event. So we'll bring you a flashback so that you know the type of girls that are going to run come Saturday at the Paju Stadium and how they are preparing very well. So let's go and bring you Kate Ajiman, how she was able to meander her way to beat the rest, the quality field. I home because the two competitions are near to time. They are early home. See, to time. But finally, I have to run and qualify for world really because that's my target. Me be nyane na me target ah like me dey baha but any bad until we say e be ti me qualify me for world really na na say kumase will qualify me for world really. It was my mind that today I'm come to take the first distance because today like strength was better than the Cape Coast on but my understand my problem was this um, the block I didn't get the start well yeah they should expect a um, more good for me so these two ladies will go neck to neck again at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Yeah. So pencil them down. When I come to Atul, Atul will give me his stick and then the rest of the ticks. Now let's go for the men's event. Edwin Gadai also proved uh, fastest uh, at the Legon event. Let's go and then get to your flashback. This is my third competition in the year, and our focus is to qualify for an Olympic game. Uh, that is my focus now. When I was coming, I was focused and relaxed because I know very well that no matter what, I'm gonna win. I would say the final, uh, you should expect first. Yeah, that's it. It's normal, you know, competition. It's not any other competition that will come where uh, you get for position. Sometimes competition is about taking parts. Uh, you know, this, all of this week, uh, I was having exams. You know, UDS, we are having exams. We vacate on uh, this coming Monday. So training was a bit stressed on all these people. But we managed to come to get second position. So I'm hoping um, next competition, I get position that I want. My focus is uh, to get to the... Um, 
particular team that let this team. That's my focus. So I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying that um, this coming next competition that we have, uh, I'll be able to run a good time when I'm done with my, all my exams. Okay, so uh, we'll come to Butu and Co with, with the other additions. But so if you look at the men, <laughs> Cape Coast, we, we saw a different winner. Legon, we saw a different winner. The two ladies pairing. Uh, what really excites you about the enthusiasm you've seen around that uh, you feel that the, the Padio one, nobody should miss it? Yeah, it's been, it's been very great so far. And like you rightly said, the last uh, lady to talk there was uh, Grace Obuo, mm -hmm. who won both the 100 and the 200 uh, meter events in the Cape Coast uh, uh, tournament. They came to Accra and Keita Jima, who she beat, also beat her. Again, the same went for Safu Ansa and Edwin Gadai. So basically, it tells you that yes, the rivalry is on the competition, it's very keen, and it is not a done deal for any, either of the, those athletes uh, in those events. Who knows, there could even be an outsider coming to beat them all. And like we rightly said, previously we were having these events across the country, up north, then we come to the middle belt before we come to the southern. But because of the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, we, uh, the protocols to be observed, we have been constrained to have it just an abridged version. So that's how come we have just the Cape Coast and the Accra events. And we've had so far, the turnout was very encouraging. We have, like I said, 195 at least now going into the finals. And the other thing about this year is that it's going to, in view of the same COVID pandemic, pandemic and the protocols, they need to observe them. We are going to have only the seniors and the under 18 categories. So we just have those two instead of the what we used to have under 10, under 15 uh, 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 at least also so, so coming on board. So, so with your, your tagline, GNPC's yes. tagline, Empowering yes. Dreams, yes. will you say from the one that you got associated with the fastest search team, you've empowered dreams? Very much so. And from 2014, when we came on board uh, first, then 2015 up to today that we are still the, the headline uh, sponsors, we have empowered a lot of dreams, the dreams of many a uh, youth. And so far from the sprint uh, field, we know about two athletes who have qualified for the Olympic Games. They have made the time already. You have the Joseph Paul Amwa. He was the 2016 uh, winner, champion for, of GMPC Ghana's fastest human. He made the uh, fastest in 2016. Then subsequently, he gained a, a scholarship and went out there in the U.S. where he's still schooling and mm. also training, exposed to better facilities. Mm. Now, the reigning champion mm -hmm. of GMPC Ghana's fastest human is Benjamin Azamati, who has also qualified for the Olympic ga Games. Of course, because last year we couldn't have the the fastest human to the end, mm -hmm. it had to be suspended because of the uh, COVID. He is still the reigning champion. So, if for nothing at all, these competitions have given the platform for these athletes to improve on their performance and for the world to also recognize them. And it is not just a one day thing it's an event it's, it's a it's a project it's an ongoing process and throughout this tournament the exposure the platforms that have been given to them it gets them to go train more before coming remember that people train for months and at times years for this olympic that we are going to have in for instance somebody has been training for the past three years focus and being prepared for it so every platform that is giving you every opportunity to for you to mount to compete you can't go and invite people from their homes to come and compete when somebody organizes the platform that is an opportunity for you to demonstrate uh, what you are capable of uh, doing and not just that through the same tournaments some of the participants have won scholarships who are still also outside, continuing with uh, their education and also at the same time uh, school uh, training 
with uh, better facilities. So yes, the platform has been very good and it has exposed a lot of uh, our youth into the higher uh, levels of participation as far as athletics is concerned. Okay, so viewers, uh, at the Accra Heat, uh, there was another addition by the organizers. They decided to give uh, opportunity to the um, national wheelchair racing teams to really come out there and display two of the gentlemen, finest gentlemen who are leading um, the course for para sports and wheelchair racing, um, McLean, Achuji Junu, and Rafael Buchon Kegbe. We're giving opportunities to test their battle readiness because for Bucho Nkagbe, as we speak, he has qualified for the Paralympic Games. He's one of the fastest uh, wheelchair athletes in Africa, and he has qualified for the Olympics. So they were given opportunity to really um, give the fans a feel of their readiness with their racing chairs. These chairs are very, very expensive, but they brought it out to really have a feel of it. Let's go for a flashback and then take their reactions, and then we'll find out from the GNPC uh, officials their plan for this particular edition because my research has it that the 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 Ghana's fastest GMPC Ghana's fastest is a seven year period. But for COVID the, the partnership will end because the dream will end because of Olympics. Now because of COVID and delayed in the Olympics which will happen this year, the competition is still going on. So when it ends, what will happen? Well, what is the GMPC going to say? Well, are they going to partner? Us? We'll get to know. But let's, let's first have a feel of how Bocho and McLean displayed a little bit of their readiness for the Tokyo Games. When we come, we'll look at what the GMPC had to say about this whole competition and their quest to really continue or otherwise. This is a good opportunity for us because of uh, GMPC has been running, the Ghana Fastest we might have been running since 2013. And uh, this time around, we, we approach the organizers and they are allowed to include it us. So we training and getting this type of opportunity and it's electronic timing as well. So it's good that we train and test ourselves like this as going forward. We look forward for this opportunity more and more and properly plan in collaboration with the National Paralympics Committee and uh, the first time we might Committee, then they can include us and the more athletes can be part of it next time around. Bojo is a sprint. I do all run, but my specialty on the track is a sprint. I do the 100 meters, 200 and the 400. Currently, I've qualified in the 100 meters to the Tokyo, which is the time of 14.22. Currently ranking seven in the world first in Africa. So one leg is in Tokyo. I just try to add one more event with the 400 that I'll be going. Currently, we are camping at Cape Coast. I'll be joining my colleagues and I prepare. I'll be going to desert and Paris to see that I can get my qualification for 400 meters. But currently, the 100 meter is down in the T54 class, and we're looking for McLean also in T53. People might say McLean competing with him, but McLean is not in my class. It's a T50, T53 class, and I'm T54. In terms of strength, in terms of our disability strength, I'm ahead of him in terms of my disability. So that's how it is. But I'm looking forward for the 400 meter to make it to in Tokyo. Parasports has proven time and time that we don't need much to win Laurel for Ghana. We all love our football, I keep on saying all the time, but 10% from football, if it's being given to other sports, will win a lot of medal. Preparation to Tokyo, I say your preparation will always determine whatever you get. Let's support the para team, let's support the National Paralympics Committee, Mr. Sam Sidin, the President and Peter J. they are doing a great job. Let's run behind Bochon Kegbe and his team, and we know if you miss the gold, don't miss the silver, if you miss the silver, don't miss the bronze. If you miss the bronze, then we should get some money and come and support others. So, for the GNPC leadership, what really is the plan for the particular tournament, this event, the fastest search? So after 2021, when the Olympic ends, what do we do? Do we start another one or we end? What plans are they having? Let's find out from their boss on the day who was there to really grace the occasion. This gentleman, when it comes to sports, really understands everything. Remember him at Kotoko and the rest. Just let's go have a flashback of what really he had to say about this whole project. X and his team have for athletics in Ghana. 
uh, we believe that as a country we need to commend him. And so we, we keep being associated with this because we think it's a good event. And uh, more recently, people talked about Azimati and uh, his performance and the breaking of national records. About those who have been associated with this event, realize that he's a product of Ghana's fastest. And uh, I'm sure you see him on the boards there. In 2019, we were here when he won the event. And GMPC, uh, we always put our money where our mouth is. We believe that these successes cannot be chalked without the right investment. And that's why we've been associated with this event. Uh, we are very much committed to the Olympic dream, as well as probably extending it beyond the Olympic dreams to the 2023 All-Africa Games. If Ghana is going to host it and do it successfully, and also be counted among medal winners. There is a time we need to start investing. And that's why I would like to take this opportunity to invite corporate Ghana uh, to come on board. Uh, every one of them should begin to think about how much they can contribute to the support of the All-African Games. The image and the fact that it helps youth development. For me, it's a youth development angle that uh, gladdens our heart. Whenever we're able to get a few people off the streets, serve as uh, heroes and motivators to others, that you can rechannel your energies into something useful. We are very much prepared to support uh, the Ghana Speedsters Club, the GMPC Speedsters Club, which is the next level after these fastest uh, uh, games, because that's where we hone in the skills of these athletes. Uh, COVID didn't allow us to be very much successful in 2020, but going forward, we think that there's more opportunity to do that. There you go. So you get it right here. No other place. So it is clear that there is still hope for the fastest human. So I told, yes. you, you saw everything. Uh, yes. The last one we'll talk about is the um, the quest to honor past athletes here and there. We'll talk about that one. We'll show highlights. But uh, in all these, um, according to your boss, there is hope. You guys are going to, and even you're extending it. Uh, anything that will help Ghana to really host the Africa Games very well in terms of athletics and every other discipline, they are willing to really help. Uh, good news there, you guys. Yes, and uh, I think you, you are quite aware that we, we, we have in the past been supporting sports, various aspects of sports, not just uh, uh, the athletics as we are saying, we were very much more earlier associated with uh, as headline sports of the Blasters, as you are very much aware. So yes, it's not a new area for us, and like you rightly said, but one of the things we do in every project that we engage in, that we do an evaluation when we've completed a phase and based on the lessons learned and from the successes and the mistakes, we make sure we improve on it. And as far as this particular uh, Ghana's Success Human is concerned, the organizers themselves are evaluating it and they are looking at what to add on to it and what to take out. So yes, every good uh, proposal, every good project deserves a buy-in and once that has been done i'm sure gmpc will be on board as our boss yeah general so, manager so for, 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 for saturday for saturday people like who will move from accra to kumasi yes. um come to pajo yes uh, what, 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 what message do you have for them from you i know you'll be there yes. but but from your end uh, you, you follow this trend for yes. a while when they move you go with them so this particular one this is the olympic year Yes, this is the Olympic here, and I believe the athletes are very hungry for success, and um, they are going to give up their best. As you heard the uh, Benjamin uh, Safo Ansan saying after losing out in uh, at the Accra event, he said, "Well, some events uh, or I incidents caused it." So he's going to prepare and put out a better performance. Who knows? In the past, we have had experiences like that where then a complete outsider comes in to beat them all so so you're expecting a surprise there's still a uh, room for surprise and it's always <laughs> been there so that's do you, see, do you see any of so them running running under 10 seconds is it possible 
Okay. Because they've been doing 10 points, yeah. one, two, three. Yeah. They, they, he, he's sure somebody can do 10 points. It, 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 it is possible. I, I don't know the kind of preparations they have made. Uh, because somehow. they're going to use the electronic timer as uh, well. Uh, Everything uh, is, is going to be international standard because it's the final. Uh, exactly, exactly. So I, I'm, I'm very uh, 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 sure they are going to put up their best. And why not? If they have trained and uh, are in better shape, I mean, they should be able to make that those times. Okay. So b before we check out from the studio, uh, the last activity during Legon's event, uh, the GMPC Ghana's fastest, was to remember and recognize three of Ghana's uh, fastest or athletes that really grease the truth for us uh, in the good old days. And so Mike Ahe and Co were recognized. Let's bring you a flashback before I let our two copy wrap up and then we, we, we check out from the studio. So they, they honored them uh, with some token. Uh, that one, that, what is in the token there? Holy God knows. They know what is it. But they were honored, uh, recognized, and it was refreshing knowing that you do something for your country and you are recognized. Say flashback. Kate Ajeman and Edwin Gadai were the two of fans as they won the female and the male categories. A 16-year-old sprinter, Benedicta Quatima, known as Jetta from Oker's Senior High School, won the girls under 18 with Asante Regine's A. Gabriel Fletcher winning the boys' event. The day saw a special feature of Ghana's wheelchair racing athlete Rafael Buchun Kegbe and Nachu McLean Jijonu displaying their readiness for Tokyo qualification process. The event attracted some high-profile personalities, including the Minister for Youth and Sports, Mr. Mustafa Yusuf, officials from the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, leadership of the 2023 Africa Games Local Organizing Committee, leadership of Ghana Athletics, and officials from the University of Ghana Sports Directorate, among others. At the end, organizers decorated three of the country's finest athletes. They include Mr. Mike Ahe, the 1962 Commonwealth gold medalist, and triple Commonwealth silver 4x100 relay medalist, Mr. Okuadi, the 1966 Commonwealth gold medalist in the 4x100 meter relay, and Ohine Kakari, 1974 Commonwealth bronze medalist in the 100 meters, and the only Ghanaian 100 meter runner to have ever won a medal outside Africa. <laughs> Refreshing to see GMPC and the rest of the partners really honoring um, our heroes. Are we going to see another surprise in terms of honoring other heroes uh, during the Kumasi event, or we should just, it's one of the secrets behind the scenes that when we go, it will pop up? <laughs> yeah, it's always good to keep secrets. So let, it, let the secrets remain where they are. <laughs> so, so, so this Saturday, all roads leads to the uh, uh, Padres for Stadium KNUST, uh, the finals of the 2021 edition, the COVID edition of uh, the uh, Ghana's fastest, GMPC Ghana's fastest human search. We are looking for the fastest sprinter in the female division and the male division to really uh, augment our national team. And remember that most of the current sprinters that we have that have qualified for the Olympics all have tasted the GMPC Ghana's fastest. And so from the GAA to the fastest search to the Ministry of Youth and Sports and everybody, uh, we wish all the athletes all the best. And then we know that uh, you still continue to empower your dreams. They are in for the African Games. They are in for everything that we are going to do sports to make sure that we do it. So kudos to the leadership of the GNPC. And then we say, please, more grace to your elbows. The next sponsorship deal will come to GPC. I know you start sponsoring us very soon after this all Africa Games thing and stuff like that. So wrap it up for us. We want to check yeah, out from so the studio. So at stake will be the trophy donated by His Excellency President Nana Dodankwa Kufa. We saw, we saw yes. his secretary there yeah, uh, yes. doing the crime. Yes, he, he's, he's been very supportive. Mm. And at the finals, we are expecting that the athletes will also put up their best. So Nanado has donated He has trophy. donated trophies, yes. And some of this. Uh, male and female <laughs> categories, yes, oh, okay. for the fastest. So they are going to be honored. The best will carry the president's trophy on wow. the day. Great. Yes. And so we will all rules will be leading to the Paju Sports Stadium at Kumasi this Saturday for the GNPC Ghana's fastest. Rex Brobe, wherever you are, we salute you with your team, Antidoris and Co. Ken and cool for doing a human's job and then the team from GNPC. Uh, I hear there will be 
uh, the CEO's run or the presidential run. I don't know the type of run they are going to do, but then at the end, they will do the media run as well. So trust me, I'll look for my spikes and then get ready. And then let's see if I bring the presidential media trophy here for, for all of us to have a feel. So if you can make your way to the Paju Sports Stadium, please do on Saturday uh, in the morning. Let's be there. And let's cheer our athletes on. It's Tokyo here. Who knows? Now, one of the ladies or the men who will make it and join Azamati to really make us proud. Thank you very much for passing through. And thank you also for doing the watching. Come on, men and everybody that helped us. Thank you very much. The page returns same time tomorrow.